What's up everybody, it's Conger Live, and I have been asked to show you guys some gameplay, so I waited until I could make this video to do my channel 6. Right now I'm at 4, 4.58, my top is 4.68, but I have a feeling I can climb higher. Um, we will see. I was debating on whether or not I should try and climb higher when I... And when it's a, a bit event, so I can bank in a little bit more of those bits. And so one thing I'm doing with the bit event, um, it's not for another week, because who's should be next, is um, I'm saving all the bits rewards from my season pass, so that way I can collect those during the bit event to get just a couple extra points um, out of that thing. Now right now I am letting it auto battle uh, sometimes, especially because I do still use Ace Duck. I'm contemplating taking him out um, because his ult is still bugged sometimes it won't work um, and then when you when he flies there he has no option um, but he'll always land next to an enemy where he gets a bonus on will and haste if he's not standing next to an enemy so he's gonna attack faster and get his ult faster if he lands somewhere not next to an enemy so he should have landed between April and Toka instead of there, so he would have continued to get his bonus. So what I'll do is I'll manually control that, but it's difficult when I'm on the emulator. Because on the emulator, I only have the mouse, so to take it off auto and then to use the special, it's very far away. Where when I'm on my phone, I can use my thumb from my left hand to take it off auto and the thumb from my right hand to use his special, target it really quickly um, to fly where I wanna go and then turn auto back on. Um, so that's another reason why um, Ace is really only super effective when you control his ult or special or active skill um, yourself because I would have flown one extra dot away. Although um, when I'm on my phone and it's in vertical view, um, you can't select the tiles that you can't see that are off the screen. Where here, when I have it locked in widescreen, I can actually select the tiles um, in there, basically. Um, which is uh, another thing I wish in vertical view if you wanted to slide further off the screen in where the av available tile is, it should let you do that. Um, so that's a couple of the, the reasons why I'm thinking about um, moving off of a stack. Also, he's just okay. I mean, splash damage, AOE damage is kind of, um, it's great early on, but in the late game, it just doesn't do enough. And even though they've reduced the amount of alertness characters get, they get the, the AOE doesn't even hit through the defense. And so then like it, it's almost like worthless. Yeah, it's great, it hits multiple targets. Um, it did well right, right there. Because Ace's uh, ult does scale um, with his alertness. So if he's able to get stacks of alertness through his abilities that he does, he can do a pretty decent amount of AOE damage. Now it looks like I'm going to um, lose this one because of uh, the RNG, um, although I've passed this level many a time. So we're going to we're gonna try it again, I'll just move Toka to a different position. Um, placement definitely matters. So since placement is important, um, I think what I had done before, and it's good to t save screenshots of where your characters are at, I think I had to line up something like this. Um, that way, in case you do have to change your lineup, you um, you know what you used. Uh, I know that it gets more important in the much higher uh, levels. A lot of the uh, guys who are much further than I have given me that tip. And I don't feel like I'm quite there yet because I'm still in the 400s. Um, but uh, I know that if I were to um, focus climbing this a little bit more, um, then that would be something I'd start doing is taking some screenshots. And that's, I guess that's also the benefit of uh, making a video, is I can always go back and watch it, but I don't really want to watch a whole video to just know what is my, my squad lineup. Um, this is kind of interesting how spread out everybody is. It doesn't always happen, but this is definitely going to be a much better win for this floor based on the lineup. Making sure that you have your tanks and your uh, brawlers in the right position, so that way they attack the characters that are the most important to eliminate. So, as you can see, I, I lost having the wrong lineup this time. See, there's one of those 
glitches with Ace Duck. Now he couldn't fly over the enemy, so he still used it, just wasting it, which is also another annoying thing about about Ace. One hour later. Okay, we're only two floors away from where I got stuck yesterday, but I didn't try very hard once I lost yesterday. I think I lost twice and said, okay, I'm good. Um, because I, I did get some new gear from PvP this last week, so I was able to go up a few levels. Uh, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't try too hard. Um, but what I do, might do is swap out Ace and the Shredder and make sure that I put the gear on them and see if that uh, makes a difference on being able to move further up the tower. Hmm. Don using his AoE to target more enemies than friendlies, but luckily we have the advantage already and we're gonna take these slashes and that Lotus out. I do like uh, the rework to Lotus's kit. I only have her at three stars and haven't leveled her up, so I don't know if I would um, use her, but if I had her at four stars, it looks like she would also pair really well with Shredder on paper. You know, I'm not sure about in uh, practice. Mm. Uh, but there you have it, another win on our Channel 6 Rush. Pretty simple, right? You guys all get a chance to do your own 10 every day. Um, we got, this is the last level that I know I can beat. After that, we're gonna, we're gonna see what, what happens. And, you know, do the challenge a couple times, but. Uh, nice thing about this particular level is even though they got two Tokas and a, and a, and a, and a, and a Rocksteady, um, the three tanks means they don't have a lot of damage output. Now, Napoleon does strip defense, but other than taking out defense, his damage output isn't, isn't huge um, from what I could tell when I was reading on paper. And he also has like that AOE, which also is why he's undervalued um, and just doesn't do enough. You see that was only 800 damage or 900 damage. It wasn't that much. Ace just did 10k splash and he hit two characters each with 10k um which where i'm i'm at you know 20k is pretty nice because you know that's about what casey's hitting there with his with his big hit his hole in two i think it's called so so we're pretty nice so i think with this next one um we'll, we'll see what we got to do maybe we did 6k to three guys so 18k um, where I'm at, not bad. Um, obviously, we'd like to see higher damage outputs. Um, but that's kind of what we get to deal with. So the reason why I think I'm having trouble with this one is the alertness that's coming from April and Donatello, which is another reason why I'm thinking um, Ace, uh, taking Ace out for Shredder might actually be a way for me to beat this. But let's try it. I want to rearrange the lineup here. I'd like Casey to be able to hit pretty hard and get them in there. Now the other thing is that Bebop and Rocksteady, I think they, their kits kind of synergize well with each other. So you have April and Donnie who work really well together. You got um, Bebop and Rocksteady who work fairly well um, together. So as you can see, they've already melted. Toka and April died quickly because she's only a three star. Donnie not doing the best targeting there with his uh, AOE, he could have given Casey some some defense up. And since Rocksteady and April are both blasters, they were able to shoot the ace, he wasn't able to get away. Um, Don, uh, Mikey's been stunning us. So if Donatello can give nope, uh, some defense to Casey, now they're sharing a tile again. Like, what is happening? That looks like a pretty, pretty nasty glitch. But Rocksteady is not wanting to die. We did. 30,000 almost, 27.7k, and he's didn't lose hardly any hit points because he got all that defense. Um, looks like we might be able to pull pull through this right here. This this is it. So um, that's where positioning matters because I had changed the positioning from what I had them when I tried it last time. So that's pretty awesome. We're just going to keep on climbing, see how far we can get. We're at 469. So we're gonna go ahead and back out, but I did add some levels to so 461, where before I was at uh, 458. 
or I mean, I'm at 471, so I was resetting 468, resetting to 458. Let's let's take a look at what we can do with Shredder because he is 200. I also have Leatherhead, whose rework looks to be um, fairly nice. Oh, I even got some blue here that'll that's just laying around. Let's uh, remove Unequip All and see if does that help Shredder at all. It does give him one extra piece. Um, it doesn't make Shredder stronger because, oh, it does. 19-6 versus 16-3. Um, so let's go take a look at what that change might do for my team. Um, now with Shredder, I guess I'll, I'll try something like this to start. We'll see um, if this is going to make a difference or not. Because we don't get aces flying around. Um, but Shredder should prevent them from getting much defense with his negative alertness ability and also the disarm stop them from being able to attack. But he just hit uh, Leatherhead pretty hard. That was a 17 and a 12 with his two slashes. Um, so this this may be my new team. And this is the reason why I wanted to do Channel 6 first because if I really like what Shredder does, I'll take Ace out of my uh, PvP team as well. Um, yeah, this, this is looking nice. So it makes sense why um, Ace only got like a B rating. Shredder is hitting hard, this is great. Um, once again, because I don't have Zorax. So otherwise Zorax would have been in there instantly. And I just melted right through them because of uh, Shredder's negative alertness. They're not getting the defense, so we're doing the damage that we need to do. Um, very, very happy to see that happen. I'm gonna continue to climb further. R.I.P. Ace, uh, even though I love him, uh, the bugs and the lack of overall damage output because that splash damage is just not as effective as we would like to see it. Um, we're just going to keep on moving with this. Now tomorrow when I do my Channel 6 climb, if for some reason I get stuck somewhere because um, maybe Ace was integral to winning a particular node, I will put him back in for that node, but I have a feeling that uh, Shredder will be able to do everything that and better, more so what um, is what do, because he just has more damage output. He's, uh, he's disarming, he's reducing alertness, making sure that they're not getting their, their defense. He's got the reflective damage from his plated armor. And he, he seems to have a decent amount of will. He's getting his special off quite often. Uh, this is actually really exciting. Shredder should be good. I remember he was my first four star and I was super disappointed. I said Shredder was garbage and his armor was a trash can. Um, but now he's definitely turning out to be uh, a useful a useful tune in, in this uh, particular setup. And once again, it's sad that April died. Um, but April's probably still more important to the team at three stars than Ace at at four because ace kit only kind of helps ace and he does some damage it's just not enough where april still even if, though she's going to die fairly early she's going to get probably one one stun off and get some defense out and reduce some alertness for an enemy and that little bit should help turn the tide of the battle so double krang um krang relies heavily on will um, he used to be amazing in season one before they nerfed Will because they're like, oh yeah, Will is way too strong. People get his skills off left and right. And Krang's little laser eye beam thing is just happening over and over and over again because he has so much Will, especially partnered with uh, April. She also gave Will. She still does, um, but of course that was nerfed. So having the two Krangs was like, oh, double Will output, but it's just not big enough. And so, once again, we're going to melt right through these guys and continue to climb. And the biggest reason why I get to climb so much more right now, guys, is because Shredder is actually quite an amazing tune now. Um, that is my new opinion on him. I was a little hesitant um, and I was a little emotionally attached to Ace Duck, but Ace Duck is definitely going into the dumpster. And this is just going to keep, we're going to keep on rocking and rolling. More than a half an hour we've been playing this game, but we're keep on climbing in this tower. 
And like I said, I had considered waiting for a bit event to kind of do this to get some more levels for that. But it's only the bonus that for that one day. And I don't think that's that bonus is enough versus what I'd be missing out on by not finding it out. Um, and also, since tomorrow starts the Ooze event, I'm going to take Shredder up to 225 um, because he's obviously working out really well for me. And uh, give him that next skill unlock, making him even more effective and being able to hopefully find some more levels in this Channel 6. This is awesome. Hey, thanks guys for sticking around and watching this. Uh, can't wait to see how far we actually go. We got a Zorax and an Antrax. And we got two, two Baxters in April. Baxter gives damage over time, and Antrax really loves attacking people who have damage over time. It gives him a bonus. That's how he gets more defense. And I think he even does more damage output. I have to reread his kit. Um, and of course, April is down. Um, but the nice thing about you know Antrax and Zorax, like going to the back line to go for April is it kind of left the their other rangers open for my guys to go take out. So I did take out one of their Baxters. Big hit on Antrax there. Oh, and Antrax gets a huge defense bonus when they, they kill an enemy. Luckily, uh, Donatello giving some defense to Shredder and doing that AOE, and that's reflective damage. Ooh, not enough. Donatello's not going to be able to do it. I'm pretty sure that this is all she wrote because Baxter's at full while Donatello is slowly going down. Now, the other thing is, is the damage over time, let's, let's try this again, right now is bugged. Um, it bypasses defense. So until they fix that, from what I can understand, from what I can tell, uh, until they fix that, um, the damage over time effect is actually very, very powerful. So I would, of course, like to uh, get rid of the Baxters uh, as soon as possible um, for, that, for that reason there. Now, by changing my lineup just a little bit, it looks like I'm going to be able to take out Zorax pretty quickly here and maybe even keep my April alive, which is going to be uh, huge, I think, and crucial to passing this particular floor. Because um, there we got rid of one Baxter, we got rid of another Baxter, excellent. So we, we got the win here just by a slight shift in that lineup, moving our damage dealer to the other side of the board from top to bottom to make sure that we get that damage. Or did I move? Toka. I'd have to double check the video. You guys tell me. We were just watching it. Up to 476. So we've advanced almost... 10 more levels. Uh, we put, we made it to 71 before we switched to um, Shredder. So we got an extra five le levels just by switching to Shredder. And it's only 200 compared to 225 on Ace. So pretty interesting. But I, I, I am a little bummed about the Ace situation, but it's okay. I'm, I'm a big boy. Um, the thing that I got from the top tier players is that it's great that they give us a character in the battle pass, but we can't get them to five stars. They didn't give us an option to get Ace to five stars. So um, the top tier players who have full five star rosters, these, uh, these whales and megalodons, they have zero use for a character that's only four stars. Um, so feedback to the um, devs, give us a five star drive for the battle pass character. Ah, uh, Shredder, I mean Splinter. Splinter's a good character. I like what they did with Raph's uh, Psy Dash to give the basically permanent uh, alertness down, that alertness, negative alert, three alertness for 10 minutes so they could prevent the forever battles from happening. Um, but that actually um, has some implications for like long surviving type of games where Raph, Raph because um, it's basically permanent for 10 minutes. If you can give Raph a bunch of will so that he's using his dash, his side dash, a lot, rush, I rush, um, a lot, and he died too quickly there. Um, that, could, that could turn to be pretty nasty, although negative three is not a lot. 
you know, when you have someone like Shredder doing like negative 100 and uh, April doing, I think, negative 70. This video is getting so long. So check it out, guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it because this video is just way too long. Um, I'm probably going to cut some pieces out. Um, I have to review it all also before I upload it. And the amount of space a video this long is taking up on my computer is insane. Uh, um, at least the raw file plus the stuff edit. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to the channel. I will do my best to keep coming out with relevant TMNT Mutant Madness content. Uh, if you didn't see my last video, check it out. I made a tool to help you guys learn more and be able to utilize uh, character skills. Uh, so give that uh, a gander. And right, we just want to game smarter. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, so I skipped uh, recording some of the levels out of interest in time. Um, I am getting stuck right here. The enemy squad power is twice mine. Uh, April and Mona Lisa are just feeding Will to Krang. So Krang is acting almost like it's season one. And as soon as he's getting his will off, his uh, special off, because he gives himself a will bonus afterwards, he's just able to use his special over and over again. So uh, I've been getting melted. Now, I did make some small adjustments, but I don't think it's enough to get past this. There he goes, melting away with those laser eye lasers. He's going to do it again. Is that like a second and a half? And he's just taking them out. Casey Jones is down. Shredder's down. April's down. Toka and Donnie are not going to be able to pull this off. No way. So that's where we got to for 504. Pretty exciting. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. Give us a like. Subscribe. Let's game smarter. We'll see you in the next video.